lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Today's class is going to be yoga for runners. Yes, runners yogas, it's that time of year where we like to get outside and do a bit more running. So this will be a lovely class for every muscle group that you runners use to keep you ticking over nicely over the spring and summer. Right, without further ado, let's get started. Right, we're going to start off lying on our mats or the floor, whatever you've got to hand. And we're just going to be literally keeping our left leg on the mat and extending our right leg up towards the ceiling. Now, I appreciate if you're running, you've probably got tight hamstrings. So you're going to bend that left knee, pull the left foot in towards that left buttock and we simply should get a bit more extension and flexibility on that right leg. Now, if you can hear you're flexing those toes back to the wall behind you. Staying there, then turn. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're taking that right foot down to the floor, standing the left leg up towards the ceiling. We're bending that left knee. You're popping your left foot on that right thigh. If you can, you're taking your hands through the gap in between the legs and just gently pulling that right knee in towards you. You should feel a big stretch going on in your left glute here. Performers staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, well done. So we're gonna pop the right leg down to the mat, extending the left leg up towards the ceiling, clasping the hands around the base of the left thigh, and trying to work that leg nice and straight over the top of the head. Yet again, if your hamstrings are complaining, bring that right foot in towards the right buttock and really try and flex those toes back to the wall behind you. Staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that left foot down to the mat, extending the right leg up towards the ceiling, bending that right knee, yet again, popping that right foot on the left thigh. Right arm goes through the gap in between the legs, and yet again, just gently pulling that left knee in towards you. Yet again, massive stretch for that right glute, staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. Just release those legs, bring your knees into the chest for a little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. Okay, from here we're coming on up to our hands and our knees. So working the legs a little bit more now, starting off with a lovely Achilles and foot stretch. So we're taking that right foot behind us. Now you're tucking your toes under on that right foot and really squeezing that right heel away from you. So you're feeling that stretch all the way up the back of that leg. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guessed it, we're swapping on over, right knee to the mat, taking the left leg back. And again, tucking those toes under and really work that left foot away from you. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. We're gonna bring that left knee back. Now we're gonna be working our hips a little bit more. So we're going to bring the right foot through to the outside edge. Now you can see my knee is not at a right angle. Now we're trying to get as low down here as we can. So you should be feeling in that right hip, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, we're taking that right leg back. Bring the left foot through to the outside of the left hand yet again. We're sinking all the way down to those elbows or as far down as you can go. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, we're taking that left leg back. So on the left knee now, we're going to bring that right foot through. Now we're starting off, it's a lovely hamstring stretch. We're extending those right toes up towards the ceiling. You're walking your hands out in front and you're simply trying to drop your nose down towards your knee here. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Working those toes away from you now. Should you feel the front of the legs working for 10? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that right foot back. We're bringing the left foot through. See it again. Working that foot out in front, then extending the toes up towards the ceiling. Yet again, walking the hands down the leg, simply relaxing your nose down towards your knee. Big hamstring stretch here for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two. One with those toes away from you now. How should you go a little bit further in front for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, taking that left leg back now, bringing the right foot through to the middle. Now we're going into a low lunge. So we're sinking down in our hips here. Relax your shoulders down, hands to that right thigh and just stay there. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, hands either side of that foot, taking the right leg back, bring the left foot through. Yet again, a nice low lunge so that your hips sink down to the floor, hands to the thigh for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands back to the mat, taking that left leg back, bringing the right foot through yet again. We're going into a lunge, but it's going to be slightly different this time. We're tucking our toes under on that left foot and up we come. If that's too much for you, stay down on the knee. Staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to that knee. We're taking that right leg back and bringing the left foot through. So same again on the other side, tucking the toes under on that right foot. Up we come if you can for a full lunge. Otherwise sink down to that knee for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop down to those knees and just have a little rest in child's pose for a moment. Just stay there. Okay, so nice and slowly, we're just uncurling. Up we come. Once you're up to seated, give those shoulders a lovely roll. Back and down. Okay, so we're working the legs a little bit more. We're coming to seated and we're just going to take the soles of the feet together, this cobbler's pose in yoga. Now, all we're simply doing here is trying to pull on those feet, trying to pull our nose down towards the toes. Not very comfortable for those inner thighs, I know, but stay with it. We're staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, and up you come. So we're taking a really wide triangle, as wide as you can take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom and pull it back so you're sitting on your sitting bones. If you have trouble with coming forward and down, you can bend those knees slightly. And the more you relax your feet, the easier it will feel. Let's turn those arms up towards ceiling and we're just coming forward and down, forward and down. Now you're just staying there. If you're finding this difficult coming down, keep your hands slightly raised off the floor and simply let gravity sink your head down towards the mat. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up you come. Keep your legs where they are. We're extending the arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up. We're twisting over that left leg and we're coming forward and down, forward and down. Trying to get our nose down towards the knee if we can. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done and up you come. Other side now, so nice big stretch up. We're twisting over the right leg and we're coming forward and down. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, up we come. We're extending those arms back up to the ceiling and we're coming forward and down once more. She'll find it a little bit easier. Now staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, use your hands to push yourself back up. Well done. Okay, so we're going to be coming up to standing now. We're going to be working, doing some IT band stretches, but just to start off, we're simply doing a nice flat back extend. So with your hands just underneath those kneecaps. Now, once we're here, lock back those knees, and I want you to really push your bottom out to the wall behind. Keep your shoulders down away from those ears. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to come up. You're going to pop your right foot over your left foot, right foot over your left foot. And yet again, we're just sinking on down here, sinking on down. Keep those legs as straight as you can. And if you can, you're trying to pull your body back in towards those legs. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, well done. And up we come, let's just swap on over. So right foot where it is, left foot crosses over the right foot. Yet again, pushing your bottom out behind, coming on down. Yet again, taking your hands to the mat, trying to pull your body in towards those knees. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, and up we come. Now, you may wish to hang on, hold on to the wall for this. If you don't need to, that's great. We're just going to be doing some toe, some heel raises. So coming up onto those toes. As runners, we can't neglect our feet. So just a few of those. Now, we're gonna pull our tummies in and we're just coming up onto those toes, right up on those toes for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. I'm going to do one more of those. So when you're ready, coming right up on those toes, if you need to hold onto the wall, that's fine. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Well done. So this one is for our Achilles. So you're going to place your left foot behind you, your right foot in front. You're going to want a wall to push against. Now you're pushing your weight into that left heel. So you're really leaning your weight forward onto that right knee and squashing back into that left heel. You should feel that all the way up the back of that left leg. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, we're swapping those feet over. So right foot to the back really squeezing that right buttock and right foot away from us for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done. Now we can't neglect our spine, we're going to sit on down. Now you can just sit cross-legged, whatever works for you here. Now all we're going to do is a nice couple of spinal twists to finish off. So please place your right hand on your left thigh, left hand comes behind. Now you're really pushing against that leg, twist around to look over that left shoulder, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're going all the way around to the other side. So left hand, right thigh, right hand to the floor behind you, and really squeezing around to look over that right shoulder for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. We're just doing one for our neck and our shoulders. We're taking the hands in front of us. We're squeezing the hands away, and you're simply dropping your chin down towards your chest, staying there for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give your shoulders a roll back and down. And well done, you've completed this lovely yoga class for runners. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please drop me a comment down below and let me know how you got on. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.